Clavio's on-site JavaScript allows you to track site visitors and their behavior, then view that data in your Clavio account. This tracking includes browsing activity, when visitors add items to their carts, and more. Most of our native integrations, like Shopify, automatically track a variety of on-site events. However, if you're building out a custom integration, you will need to manually add Clavio's JavaScript snippet, known as Clavio.js, to your site in order to track browser activity, use Clavio Forms, and track custom on-site events. If you're enjoying this video, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future developer resources like this. Let's pass it over to Michaela to walk through how to set up Clavio.js. First, find your Clavio public API key by logging into Clavio and clicking on your account name in the lower left-hand corner. Click Settings, then API Keys. Copy the six-digit ID under Public API Key. The Clavio JavaScript snippet, Clavio.js, can be found in our Help Center documentation, which is linked in this video's description. Copy the snippet and paste it toward the end of your site's HTML. Replace public API key with the six-digit public API key you just copied. Add this snippet to your code base file so it appears on every page, or add it to all pages where you want to track on-site behavior. Once you've added the snippet, active on-site events will automatically start syncing to Clavio. You can also now publish sign-up forms, which will automatically display on your site according to the form settings you select. It is important to note that only identified profiles will be tracked so that Clavio knows which profile to send the data to. Profiles become identified by filling out a sign-up form, clicking a link in a Clavio email, or being identified using the Clavio object. The Clavio object offers a shorthand way to interact with our APIs and send events into Clavio with event tracking. Let's set up a custom event using the Clavio object on Beantown's sustainability page. To initialize the Clavio object, I will need to add a code snippet to this page, which can be found in the developer portal. I'll add this code snippet to my site in addition to Clavio.js. Then, we can call various functions on this object to track events or associate users with their Clavio profiles. For example, we can use the Clavio object to identify a customer by email. This is useful for pages where your users' emails have already been collected and can be pushed to a cookie for tracking. Add clavio.push and include an array as a parameter, where the first element is identify. The second element is a JSON object including the customer's email. We can also use the Clavio object to track a viewed page event that will fire whenever an identified customer views this page. Type clavio.track then include the name of the event, viewed page, as a parameter. You can also pass in any custom parameters as a JSON object, such as the page name. Now that we've set up on-site tracking and created a custom event with the Clavio object, let's test that everything works as expected. First, I will identify my profile by email address by adding the UTM email parameter to Beantown's site URL. This will identify me by my email address. As soon as I've been identified, my Clavio profile shows the active on-site event, indicating that Clavio.js is tracking my on-site activity. Then, I'll navigate to the sustainability page. The viewed page event fires on my Clavio profile, containing the parameter we specified, that page name is sustainability. This confirms that the event we sent using the Clavio object is firing as expected. To recap, we just covered how to add Clavio.js to your site, initialize the Clavio object, and use it to enable on-site tracking. Setting up on-site tracking will help you gain valuable insights into customer activity on your site. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more Clavio API tutorials. Plus, Check out the description for links to the documentation referenced in this video and to learn how to add viewed product tracking, add it to cart tracking, and more. Thanks for watching.